All right, number 17. A pizza is cut into eat eight equal slices as shown. Leslie ate five slices. If the diameter of the pizza was 16 inches, what is the approximate area of the pizza of Leslie ate? I'll let you think on how to solve that and then pick back up here in a moment. Wait, wait. <laughs> so, what is the formula? If you look on area of a circle, what's the formula for area of a circle? I meaning I radius squared, pi r squared. Now, that's if you're looking for the whole circle. Are we looking for the whole circle? No. No. So, you could use the sector formula, which they listed as x over 360 times pi r squared. But many of you, I prefer to do it a different way, and I like your way the best. So I'm going to use this formula. So we plug it in. They said the diameter is 16. What's the relationship between a diameter and a radius? So the radius is half the diameter. So what is the radius going to equal? Eight. Eight inches. So if the radius is eight inches, all I'm doing is plugging in eight right there. So go to your calculators. And what do you get when you do pi times eight squared? Two oh one uh, point zero six two. Two oh one point zero six. Okay. And this would be in inches squared because eight was in inches and he squared it. So inches times inches is inches squared. Now that's the area of the whole circle. Are we looking for the whole circle? No. Oh. no. How much is it take one? Five out of eight. So you can then take this and multiply by five eighths, or what I saw most students do is they first find out how much area is in each slice. If you divide it by eight, you get the amount of pizza or area of the pizza for each slice. Okay, what do you get when you do that? You get 40.2. When you divide by eight, you get 25. 25.13. Yeah, 25 point what? 13.28. Oh, I get 13.28. Now that's per slice. Per slice. Now, how many slices did she eat? Five. five. So, how do I find five slices? Five slices, you multiply by five. So five times 25.13, what do you get? 125.66, are you round? All right. Is that an answer choice? Yeah. Okay. Is it the correct answer choice? Yeah. Have you rounded it out? Yes. It's the correct answer. Now, you could use this formula. The only difference is how many degrees is in each slice? 45. How many slices are there? Uh, I'm sorry. How many slices did she eat? Five. So you do five times 45 there, and then you plug in your eight right there, and that would solve the problem as well. We so said there's five slices that are 45 degrees each. Over 360 times pi r squared, r being eight. Do we got the same answer that way?